in this video I'm gonna share with you how to paint this in four simple steps. Hi beautiful people and welcome back to another video. My name is Charlotte if you're new here, welcome, subscribe if you're into arty videos and whatnot. And um, in this video I'm gonna share with you how to paint this in four simple steps. Now the reason why I'm sharing this one is because I recently started a new account on Instagram and this has been the most liked posts on there so far. So that is why I recreated this painting in watercolors in my sketchbook just to show you how to re recreate this super easily in four steps. The acrylic paints that I use are these ones, Winter and Newton. And the watercolors are also the same brand, Winsor & Newton. They're both very vibrant in color and I do recommend them. That is why I'll link them in the description below. So check that out if you're looking for new materials. And also the painter's tape that I'm using, it's just simple painter's tape really. It's not as strong as normal masking tape. This one will attach to the paper a little bit str more strong and this one is easier to take off without ripping the paper. So, I do recommend this. So first I taped the paper with the painter's tape to make the outlines of where the painting will end. And also a line for the horizon to make it really straight. And then I started coloring in the sky. And once I finished with the sky, I continued with removing the tape and adding similar colors to the water part. And you can see that I'm starting off with making lighter colors around the horizon and then getting darker shades as I move further away from the horizon. And I make the colors match the sky. And then the next step was to add the black contrast to the painting. And I'm leaving it to dry a little bit to then add a second layer. And then on with the white, so I'm making stars on the sky and I also made a crescent. And then on with the black trees when the sky had dried enough. And then the last step is to add the white to the water to add this water reflection effect. So let's take the tape off and see the final version. This is painter's tape. I do recommend painter's tape because it doesn't rip the paper and it comes out easily. Here we go. And this is the watercolor version of this painting. Super easy, four steps, give it a go. All right, you can see that obviously the acrylic paints are a little bit more vibrant in color and I didn't put all the details into the other painting, this one. Anyways. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope this inspires you to get your brushes out and I shall see you in next video. Bye!